to our top story. There's 8,000 people here. There's 8,000 different stories here. Vandals tip tombstones, crack concrete at a local cemetery where Vancouver's founding fathers are buried. A groundskeeper says it is the worst damage he's ever seen. Yeah, dozens of tombstones were pushed over and some just can't be fixed. K2's Margie Lynch joins us now. And Margie, this kind of vandalism certainly is not new, but to this degree... That's right. 44 tombstones, Stephen Deb, and the names of the people buried there at that cemetery are the names you see around the town of Vancouver on street signs, historic houses. They're the people who shaped the town, and now some feel they have been disrespected. Seeing the damage is like a punch to the gut for Richard Engstrom. He's been working hard to fix up this historic cemetery. We're now back at square one again. This is the worst damage I've ever seen. A path of destruction with some off their foundation and some crumble. Police think it happened sometime between Saturday afternoon and Monday morning. I'm going to guess that it probably took less than 10 minutes to do all this damage. It doesn't take very much. Cemetery manager Bob McKechnie says there's at least $8,000 in damages. I don't really know what they're thinking. I've, uh, it's, uh, it's beyond me that why anybody would do something like this. He and Ingstrom say this is Vancouver's most historical cemetery. I think this provides us with a, a look into our past. Schofield, many of the, the founding fathers are here. McKechnie yeah, says that some of the early doctors and attorneys, as well as a lieutenant governor, are all buried here. And that's not all. There's the Slocums, and then there's the Capels. We've got Esther Short, and right here she is. Esther Short Park was named after this lady. Very popular place, kind of like our living room. He says vandals have gone too far this time. It dishonors these people that are buried here. You know, it's, there's, there's 8,000 people here. There's 8,000 different stories here, and it's, it, it matters to someone. Well, the cemetery managers say if you have information, they hope that you'll call Vancouver police, although police tell us tonight that they have very limited resources that they're able to put on this case. They don't even have a detective assigned to it, but they are hoping someone in the community saw something and can help solve it and get the person who did this. Margie Lynch, K2 News.